Hi, I'm Kevin Watt alongside Steve Mensch, another edition of the NFL Draft Blitz. And Steve, today we're going to talk about the wide receiver class. I know you've been doing this a lot longer than I have, but in the seven years I've been doing this, this is the deepest wide receiver class I can remember. 19 underclassmen have declared. I think that's bolstered the depth. 14 of our top 16 in our rankings are underclassmen. And one of those guys has been a little bit under scrutiny. Uh, Calvin Benjamin, the big wide receiver out of Florida State, you know, didn't run particularly well at the combine, uh, but he's big. He's a big physical receiver. Let me know what you like about Benjamin and what you don't like about him. Well, it's his frame right away. You know, 6'5", 240 pounds, long arms, big hands. How do you match up with him with a defensive back? That's going to be difficult to do. I think he can make plays in jump ball situations. I think he makes contested plays. That's his biggest strength. I, I, my concern with him is that he drops too many passes that he should catch. His ball skills are erratic. He makes highlight real type catches, but he also drops what should be a routine play. And that, that makes him a little bit risky at the end of the first round for me. Yeah, I, I see it. And I go back to the Florida tape to what he can do is what I keep seeing as scouting him. And you look at it, the, the ability to track the ball in the air, the adjustments he makes on a few of those catches. And then the physical running style after the catch, you see it on the deep crossing route where he runs through about five guys to get in the end zone. So that's the tape that really has me intrigued, and I think a lot of these teams. So it will be interesting to see if he goes in the first round or actually slips that late second round. I know a guy like Alshon Jeffrey is really helping his cause. Uh, now, looking later on down the road, I know there's a sleeper that both of us really kind of like out of Alabama, Kevin Norwood. Uh, let me know some of the traits that really caught your eye with Norwood. Well, I think he was overshadowed in that offense, playing with another talented receiver in Amari Cooper. And obviously, it features their run game. So I don't think he got to really shine in that offense. But when you watch him, he makes plays when it matters most. He catches the ball well. He gets what he can after the catch. I also think that he's still growing into his frame. He's the kind of player that will be a better pro than he was a college player. Yeah, absolutely. I love his focus and his ball skills and traffic. He's come up in big moments for them. The more tape I watch, the more impressed I am with him. And I think he's going to be a great day three steal uh, just due to the depth. He's going to be pushed down at day three, and I think he'd be a good steal at that point. Now, speaking of wide receivers and team needs coming out of free agency, I think the Carolina Panthers are a team that is in a dire need uh, to, to kind of get into this wide receiver class, and maybe not only take one, but maybe take two after having Steve Smith go into the Baltimore Ravens and Brandon LaFell go into the Patriots. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Panthers? Oh, they have to address the receiver position. They don't have anyone on that team right now that has proven that they can, they can compete in the NFL or that they can contribute at that kind of level that they need them to contribute at. And I know you can say that the same about the rookies, but – they haven't had that chance, so they got to bring in depth. They got to bring in competition, and I also got to think. I also think they got to bring in someone who can compete for the return job. Both those guys, you know, the two guys we spoke of, don't do that. So they're they're going to maybe target someone with some return experience as well. Yeah, like an Odell Beckham Jr. if he's there late in the first round, potentially mentioned. And you could also go if they elect to take him first and look into day three. You could get guys like Bruce Ellington, Brandon Coleman out of Rutgers, Norwood we talked about, and even Martavis Bryant out of Clemson, who you wouldn't be able to maybe get at that potential fourth, fifth round range. But it's such a deep wide receiver class, I think you can get strong value there. Well, there you have it. It's another edition of the Draft Blitz. Check back with us next week. Me and Steve will break down another prospect or position for the 2014 NFL Draft.